Greetings, welcome to Facts About Everything, I'm your host James Egan. Today we're going to talk about spiders. If you're watching this and you suffer from arachnophobia, let me reassure you with the first fact. Of the 46 thousand types of spiders, only 12 of them are dangerous to humans. Spiders kill 2,000 insects a year. The flick flack spider can cartwheel. Hey, that reminds me of when Daffy Duck goes nuts. Can we play that again with Daffy Duck's Wahoo laugh? Yeah, that works. A group of spiders is called a clutter. A baby spider is called a spiderling. Okay, the big question. What is the difference between a spider and a tarantula? Now, most people naturally say tarantulas are bigger and furrier, but it's more complicated than that. Tarantulas are part of the spider family Myglomorphae. Tarantulas have fangs that point down, while true spiders have pincer-like teeth. Tarantulas have retractable claws, don't spin webs, they can regenerate lost legs, and live for 30 years. Although they are usually hairy and large, some of them are very small and hairless. There are 900 species of tarantula. Giant tarantulas keep little frogs as pets to protect its eggs. That's right. Animals have pets. Spiders eat their webs to recycle them. Some spiders can walk on water. 95% of the spiders in the average house have never been outside. Spiders can spin webs in zero gravity. A spider's central nervous system spills into its legs. Spiders kill many insects that humans hate, including flies, bees, and mosquitoes. Spiders have a safety thread when they navigate through dangerously high places similar to rock climbers. If they fall, their line will stop them from hitting the ground. Some spiders kill tarantulas. If a spider navigates itself down to a new terrain, it will remain attached to its thread just in case it sees a predator and needs to hoist itself back up. Many people assume that spiders have some special enzyme that makes them immune to sticking to their own webs, but they don't. Spiders only walk on the web with the tips of their legs. Falling into their own web will cause them to become stuck just like their prey. Only two spiders in the US are dangerous, the brown recluse and the black widow. A spider will never go out of its way to bite a human and will almost never bite a person while they are asleep. Personally, I have never been scared of spiders and I actually really like spiders. And if you ever complain about them, let me just say something to you. No one has died from a spider bite since 1981. So chill out, guys. Certain spiders can breathe underwater. The bird-dropping spider looks like bird feces, because this, birds don't attack it. Spiders don't have genitalia. Spiders can give birth to 3,000 eggs at a time. The wolf spider carries her babies on her back. Why is it called a wolf spider? Do wolves do that? A tarantula can liquefy the body of a mouse in two days. Most spiders live for one year. Although the black widow has a reputation for being the most dangerous spider, the Brazilian wandering spider has the most powerful venom of all the arachnids. The bolo spider uses a silk thread with a sticky droplet at the end. The droplet smells like a female moth, which attracts male moths. Once a moth comes in contact with it, it sticks to the droplet, allowing the spider to devour it. Silk webs contain vitamin K, which can stop bleeding wounds. See? Spiders aren't all bad. Spiders have been found on mountains that are 23,000 feet high. Until these spiders were spotted, no one thought spiders could survive on elevated land of this magnitude. Jumping spiders can leap 40 times their own body length. This would be like a human being jumping 230 feet. And if you think that's strange, jumping spiders don't have strong muscles in their legs. Instead, it contracts muscles in its abdomen, which forces liquid into its back legs. When the legs straighten, it catapults the spider forward. Peacock spiders dance to find a mate. No two peacock spiders have the same dance. When a wheel spider is scared, it tucks its legs in and rolls away. <laughs> That's funny. Trapdoor spiders build trapdoors from soil and silk and lie in wait for their prey to walk by before leaping out and grabbing them. 50,000 spiders can live on a single web. The world's biggest spider is the Goliath bird eater. It weighs as much as a puppy and its legs are the length of a child's arm. It can live for 25 years and has fangs strong enough to pierce a human skull. Okay, that justifies arachnophobia more than anything I've ever heard. And arachnophobia didn't even know it existed. But now you do. When people hear the word web, they picture an orb web. However, spiders can use webs to make sheets, tangles, and ladders. Some spiders in Peru can even create web fences. The ray spider uses its web as a slingshot to shoot its body at airborne prey. It's the angry birds of spiders. The Bagheera kiplingi is the only spider that is a herbivore. I just realized right now that a spider is named after Rudyard Kipling, who wrote The Jungle Book, starring Bagheera. Man, I'm really inobservant. Net-throwing spiders throw their web over their prey. Most spiders create a new web 
every day. No matter how many times a spider's web is destroyed, it will make another one. The gold orb weaver's web can last for years. The US Defense Department are trying to use gold orb weaver silk to create bulletproof vests. The Darwin bark spider creates the strongest material made by a living organism. Their webs are 10 times stronger than Kevlar armor. Spiders are scared of ants. Some spiders can run two feet per second, which based on its size is really impressive. Some webs are so strong they can catch birds. Although the Black Widow has a reputation for being deadly, only the female has dangerous venom. The female Red Widow eats the male while they are mating. However, the male literally force feeds itself to the female by putting his head in her mandibles. If she spits him out, he will repeatedly place himself back in until she devours him. Some male spiders give dead flies to the females as a gift. About a million spiders live in one acre of land in the western world. About three million live in one acre in the tropics. Spiders can zip line on a line of silk. This is called ballooning. Why is it not just called zip lining? In India, spider webs can cover trees for miles. Some spiders can see UV light, which is invisible to humans. Spiders are very important in maintaining a stable ecosystem. They pollinate plants and recycle dead animals and plants. And Spider-Man saves people. All spiders spin silk, but not all spiders spin webs. A female black widow only needs to mate once in its life. Tarantulas can shoot hair at predators. During the 16th and 17th century, Italians believed you wouldn't die from a venomous spider bite if you performed a dance. This inspired a dance called the Tarantella. Water spiders use their webs as fishing poles to catch insects, tadpoles, and even fish. Spiders don't have teeth. They inject digestive juices into the innards of their prey and then suck them up. Most arachnophobes are more scared of tarantulas than spiders just because they're bigger. However, the most venomous tarantula has a bite that's only as strong as a wasp sting. Which, you know, stings like hell, but it won't kill you. When a spider is walking, it always has four legs on the ground and four legs in the air at any given moment. The word spider is derived from the old English word spithra, which means spinner. Unlike most animals, spiders have muscles on the inside of their skeleton. NASA have created robots for space designed to resemble spiders called spider knots that can crawl on the outside of spacecraft and repair machinery. The spider silk is liquidated when spewed out, but it hardens almost instantly when it's exposed to the air. Some spiders have up to seven different silk glands, each creating a different type of silk. Silk can be smooth, sticky, dry, or stretchy. If you put a spider outside, it usually dies within minutes because it is adapted to the heat of the building it was in. Hey murderer! If you truly can't stand spiders, there's a very easy way to get rid of them in your house. A burnt chestnut. For some reason, spiders absolutely cannot stand the smell of a chestnut that's burnt. Just put that in your room and it'll never go near you. Spider silk is five times stronger than steel in proportion to its weight. A spider's web as thick as a pencil could stop a jumbo jet in mid-flight. Marvel creator Stan Lee knew this and that's what inspired him to create Spider-Man. Scientists have no idea how to replicate the strength and elasticity of spider silk. As soon as I saw this fact, I said, okay, this has to be the final fact. Here goes. NASA scientists gave drugs to spiders to see how it affected their webs. Spiders with marijuana wove half a web and then crawled away. Spiders on caffeine chucked a few strands together. Spiders on benzardine wove long webs with massive holes in between the strands. Spiders on LSD spun long lines without connecting them. It was the most necessary scientific experiment in history. Special thanks to these fine people for all their help. Be sure to subscribe to Facts About Everything. Follow me on Twitter for updates on upcoming videos. Check out my Facebook page to let me know what subjects you want me to talk about in the future. Thanks for watching. See you again.